Hey, welcome back to the channel. Once again, I'm lost. I have a navigator on this damn bike, and I still get lost. How is that possible? I have the world's worst sense of direction. Anyway, we're headed back to a place I've been to recently, but there's going to be a twist, so stick around and you'll see that. And by the way, if you're new here, I'm John. This is my channel. I go on rides, I do product reviews, I do motor vlogging how-tos, and I smoke a lot of cigars while I ride. But if you saw my last video, or one of my recent videos, the channel got another upgrade, didn't it? And with that comes a chance to return to some of my favorite local locales and check them out again from a different point of view. So I'll give you a minute, go peruse the channel, find that video, maybe I'll link it up here and uh, check that out and then come back or watch this and then go check that out. Either way, you're bound to be entertained by something around here. Oh, feels weird wearing my summer gloves. It's so warm out today. I brought two sets of gloves just in case, but these are plenty warm. Looks like spring is finally sprung. Yay! But this is Maryland, so in a week we could have a blizzard. It's happened before. But lots of bikes out today. This is great. We're giving the biker wave to everybody. Whoa, it breaks. And I think the road we're looking for is on this one. I don't really know. I couldn't find an address on my phone. I did pull over. But uh, yeah, we're going to figure it out. As always, we'll figure it out together. I hope you're having a great day and a great week. I don't know what day of the week you're watching this, but that should cover the bases. I do hope you're having a great week, though. But man, it does feel weird with these gloves on. Got to adjust my grip. I've been wearing my winter gloves for the last four months. <laughs> ah, it's great to not have to layer up a ton. But speaking of ugly, because I'm ugly, I have seen so much content show up on YouTube lately on the Rebel 1100, the new supposed cruiser from Honda. I don't really think it's a cruiser. I've seen a ton of content pop up on YouTube, and I just think it is plain ugly. Now dress it up in some Dakar rally type stuff, and I think it would look pretty good. And I did my research, it's, it's a uh, platform share with the Africa Twin, so who knew? But anyway, that bike is butt ugly, and I'm not ashamed to say it. I don't care how well a bike does its job, if it's ugly, I'm not gonna throw a leg over it. I mean, 88 horsepower and 72, I think, foot-pounds of torque out of a parallel twin. Yeah, that's interesting. A price that rivals the Sportster. Okay, eat Harley's homework, eat Harley's lunch, whatever. But I just don't see it. I get that Honda's expanding their model range and they're trying to compete in that space and they'll probably do very well at it because it's Honda. They built some bulletproof bikes, right? But like I said, at the end of the day, if it's ugly, I don't really want to ride it. When I think cruiser, I think something like this or my Vulcan 800, you know, classically styled cruiser. And Kawasaki proved that you can do retro with modern tech and engine and all that because they have the Z900RS, which it's a couple grand more, but it's got rider modes and plenty of power. I'll throw some specs on screen. But I think it compares favorably to the Rebel 1100. Um, it just sits a little taller. So for that reason, I'm out. I mean, it's cheaper than the Indian Scout, even though it's got comparable specs to that. But really, if you're gonna throw a leg over a cruiser, a lot of people want that potato potato or at least a V-twin or at least a V-twin soundtrack. Man, it's windy up here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this shot that I want later. And if I don't get the shot later, do I post the video? Probably not. Hmm. Interesting. We shall find out shortly, won't we? I mean another thing is weight. The Rumble 1100 is what, 487 pounds wet. I'll correct myself, but I think the Sportster 1200 is about 520 pounds wet. So, really, that's not a whole lot of weight difference. 
So I get that Honda is labeling this Rebel 1100 as a cruiser, but, but what Honda should have done was market the Rebel 1100 as a standard or a naked, and then it would at least fit the aesthetic. I don't think it's a cruiser. I think it's a parallel twin standard. So that's my take on the Rebel 1100. And we might be on the way to our next destination. I'm not sure. I really have no idea what I'm doing here, do I? Boy, is it windy. Okay, so I just pulled over and checked the map again. I am way off. So, um, yeah, best laid plans, right? Anyway, I will check back in with you right about now. And hey, we're almost there. But my Hero 8 died again. At least the warmer weather means it lasted for over an hour this time. Yes, I got that lost. Uh, but anyway, we're almost there. So before we get there, I wanted to give a couple of shout outs. First of all, Dewey. And I'll leave all their channel links in the description below or in a comment or something. But Dewey, my stats guy out of, I think he's in the Pacific Northwest. Good people, go check his stuff out. Second up, yellow backpack guy. He's pretty entertaining and he's trying a lot of new things. So go check his stuff out. It might be to your liking. My Kaylee 7. And I always seem to think of him when I come down this road. Why is that? I don't know. But he's a really cool dude. He recently rode a Kawasaki ZH2 or ZH2, something like that. If the, however the Brits pronounce it. Uh, and he loved it, so I'm looking forward. Hopefully he'll get it. Hope, hopefully he'll buy that bike for his channel. Uh, and there's a few others I can't think of. Oh yeah, Easy Rider Greg. He's real chill if you like that kind of stuff. And hey, we're here, editor. Cue up the music. Oh, you already did. Well, turn it up. They still have snow on the ground up here. Isn't that something? So here we are at the dam again. I'm gonna get some footage. It's gonna look great. Lady over there is listening to her car real loud, but that's all right. Hopefully you can't hear that. I brought out my drone and we're gonna see what kind of footage I can get with it. Cause I'm new at this, so it'll probably end up in the water. Anyway, check out the footage now. 